chef is back. 15 of the country's most talented chefs have traveled to Houston to compete in one of the most diverse cities in the nation. Being from Houston is definitely an advantage in the competition. I was raised on queso, but still want to showcase that I'm heavily influenced by Southeast Asian flavors. And they're all here to give you a special taste of Asia. I know everyone here. It's crazy. Each episode of this season's Top Chef is filmed in iconic Houston locations like NASA and the University of Houston. Joining us in the Great Day Kitchen is one of the chef testants representing H-Town Chef Evelyn Garcia. Good morning. Good morning. All Thank right. you so much for yeah. having me. Thank <laughs> you for being here and representing Houston well. You, your background's interesting because you have a parent, you were born in Houston, but you have a parent from Mexico, one from El Salvador, and it's funny how people get that confused and they think, oh, so it's all Mexican food. It's not. You mm -hmm. got diversity with, in the kitchen growing up. Yeah, I mean, it's funny, yeah, growing up just having Mexican and Salvadorian food and then those kind of like fusioning together as well. Like yeah. mo both my mom and dad love cooking, so they always cook together. So. so straighten this out for me. So Salvadorian food, Mexican food, but you love Asian. And that I love <laughs> Southeast Asian food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I mean, I think just being from Houston, it was just so uh, common for me to go out as easy as it was to go out for pho, it was easy to go out for Indian curry and, you know, pozole if we wanted to. So I think just growing up, it just made sense. Yeah. Now it's kind of becoming full circle for me. Now it's my career. And putting and, your spin on it as well. It. So uh, you kind of knew early on that you loved cooking, wanted it to be your livelihood. You attended Cypress Ridge High School, so shout out to Cypress yeah. Ridge. Yeah, <laughs> member of the Sci Fair Culinary Academy, later went on to the uh, Culinary Institute of America. Mm -hmm. And then the competition show. Uh, these, this show, to me, although there's some editing that, that's involved, it's, it's a tough show, isn't it? It is. Gives me chills just watching <laughs> the yeah. clips all over again and, and seeing the episodes every week. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's no joke. It is very, very, it's pushing you to your limits, not just in time restraints, but creatively. Yeah, you've worked in all kinds of kitchens. You cooked your way through New York City at some of the top restaurants. Uh, you had Ken HTX as well. You do catering. Is this tougher? Oh, yeah. I did. <laughs> the hardest thing I've done, hands down. Okay, we're going to make it easy for you. What yeah. can you make for us this morning? Yeah, so I'm actually uh, making for you a dish that I created for the Asian Market uh, Challenge, mm -hmm. which was a chilled chicken salad. They loved it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was one of my favorites. I was really happy they <laughs> enjoyed it very much. But yeah, so we have some poached chicken in coconut milk, ginger, and there's some cilantro root in here. Um, it's going to be served on top of a crisp, so I'll fry some of those first. Um, so this is a rice uh, cracker with sesame seeds, and they're very easy to fry up. You could also do it in a grill. Yeah, because this is the one right here, right? Yeah, so it puffs it's that up. one right there. Puffs right up, and it is has the texture of like a pork rind. It's this really, is so really good. tasty. Yeah, I'm like by themselves, they're very, very tasty. Mm, yeah, this is one of those when you come to the table, just give me a whole bowl. Yeah, of this snack. Right here. <laughs> exactly. Mm. So we're serving our salad on top of that. Obviously, I wanted to add an element of texture and it's very common to be served in Vietnamese cooking which mm -hmm. well that was the cuisine I was assigned to um, so we have our chicken salad that's been poached also very commonly done with uh, like poached shrimp or or different kinds of seafood. whatever meat yeah. or no meat at all if you or want, no right? meat at yeah. all uh, so we have some chilled onions so they've been washed in um, ice down so they're not as raw as they normally mm -hmm. are yeah, not bitter it takes it kind of like a little bit of the bitter yeah out, right? it takes yeah. it out um it's not I, my first rodeo yeah the kitchen. but anyway <laughs> it's not, not your first rodeo you competition know. show either uh you were the chopped champion uh the all burger meal challenge yes that was an interesting one too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was very young i was 24 at the time so it's kind of just a validating for me the like okay you've made the right choice you're on the right path yeah. so that was really fun um but yeah top chefs my level. Yeah. <laughs> you and I were talking earlier uh, before the show started about I, I'm looking at like these tomatoes and, and all yeah. the greenery and the, the rich color in here. You shop the farmers markets every morning because it yes. does make a difference when you're getting something that is super fresh. It really does. Like just having a tomato during its peak. It tastes like no other, yeah. and, and you can see the difference. You can make a meal off of it. Yes. Okay. You got so a yeah, little bit of a little bit of salt. I added a nuk chum, which is very traditional Vietnamese dressing. It's made with ginger, a little bit of fermented chili, palm sugar, fish sauce, and water to kind of tame it. Um, and then we have some fresh chilies because I love spice. Mm -hmm. um, and then to this dish, uh, which is very traditional, I'm adding a little bit of avocado crema, which is kind of my touch, you know, being Mexican yes. and Salvadorian. And it adds a little bit of richness to the dish that I think it really did need because it is very fresh and light. 
um, but serving it on top of the crisp for some texture and then adding that little bit of fattiness to it really just adds a different um, element to the dish. Oh, and I think that that's right really there. cool. Oh, I don't even really need a fork, do I? Oh, oh no, yeah, there you go, go right it. there. A little bit of crema, and then yeah, I added and some. I love avocado, a little bit oh, more. Oh, go, yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And then it has some uh, gooseberries in there for some sweetness as well. Okay, I'm gonna taste this and when I taste this, uh, we love watching the show for the entertainment value and watching to see who's gonna win, right? Because it's yeah. a competition. But what else do you think it gives people when they watch a show like that? I think it, it definitely gives you a perspective into a chef's world. I mean, we we cook every day, but we when you're in that amount of pressure and... <laughs> yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. That is so it good. It looks so fresh. And <laughs> what always gets me every time is the simplicity of the ingredients, but how good this is. Yay. Mm. Thank you. I'm so mm. happy to enjoy it. I'm sorry I interrupted you, no, but I had good. to. No, you're good. No, that's mm. always so good. Mm. But yeah, just um, you know, being pushed creatively, uh, mm -hmm. which you normally aren't unless you're doing it within yourself, uh, really just makes you dig deep, and then you get to create dishes that... I even surprised myself. Yeah. I was like, I didn't know. Oh, that's nice. You could go, yeah, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> right. um, you know, ever since these shows have come on the air and Food Networks and all that type of stuff, uh, there are so many people who are now saying, young people saying, I want to be a chef when I grow up, right? Yeah. Um, what is the one piece of advice you have for them? Because I think they see all the frontline stuff, but they uh, don't realize what being a chef really is. Yeah. Especially with the shows, it looks very cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like if you're very passionate about it, um, it's going to be hard. Yeah. It's not going to be an easy route. Uh, it's it's going to push you to limits you've never even imagined. But if you really stick to it, it creatively, it gives you a lot of gratification. Yeah. And I yeah. truly enjoy what I do. So. Uh, and it's we're worth it after you. all. Yeah, you're still in it, and we <laughs> were rooting you. you on. Thank you so much for joining well, us this thank morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Top Chef Houston airs Thursdays on Bravo. For more information, visit greatdayhouston.com. They also do catering jobs as well. So get your stuff catered by Evelyn.